So let's get started with these overnight curls which are really easy to do and require a no heat so it's not going to be damaging on your hair. What you'll need is these goody uh, foam rollers which you can get at Walmart or Target or any drugstore like that and they're not very pricey at all. And then you're just going to want to take semi wet hair, mine's probably about 50% wet, and then just brush it through with a wide tooth comb to help not damage it and then take your favorite mousse plus leave-in conditioner. This one from Aussie is actually both. It's called Scrunch and it is a mousse and leave-in conditioner. And what this is going to do is the mousse will just help hold the curl, um, sort of like an overnight hairspray. So in this package of spiral it out foam rollers, there's two sizes, the blue which are small and then the purple which are bigger. So I like using the bigger ones um, on the first bottom layer of my hair. So I'm just taking the two top layers and just pinning them up so they're out of my way and I can work with the bottom layer. Like these rollers just take trial and error so after a little while of figuring these things out what I like to do is take it um, and then start at the top and sort of wrap my hair around it sort of like you would a curling wand um, you can roll it up but however I saw in the packaging they sort of said to do this and this is just what I like to do start just wrapping it around like a candy cane and then just closing the ends to secure it in place and then I'll show you one more in regular speed and then we'll speed it up for you. So just wrapping it around, you can go into your face or away from your face, whichever way you want the curl to go. I just did a little bit of both on all these. And then just close it shut. morning and excuse my face I seriously just woke up and filmed it but you're just going to unravel it very easy and simple um, just unravel it and the ends may get a little crinkly but you can just sort of play with it and work with it and then just hairspray it and you're good to go and if you don't want to sleep with these in overnight then you can take a little bit of heat and just sort of blow dry your hair with the curlers in and it'll give you the same effect it'll just be using some heat and that is how to get these really natural looking curls what I also like to do sometimes is just pull them into the back with a little bow or ponytail and you got a really cute simple hairstyle that's great for the holidays or just whenever now moving on to these little Christmas tree nails the first thing you're gonna want to do is paint your nails a red you can use another polish if you want but I feel like red is just very festive Once the red is completely dry, then you're going to want to take two pieces of tape and this is how you're going to make the little tree on your nail. So you're going to want to put them diagonally with a little point facing upwards towards your hand, so like in a little triangle. Do that with both pieces till it makes a triangle or tree shape and then once you do it, it'll look like this. Now take your favorite green polish and just paint over the tape and your nail. It's okay if it's all messy because when the tape comes off, it'll be perfect lines. So I recommend taking the tape off when the nail polish is still wet. And as you can see, there's your little tree and you can just clean up on the edge if it gets like that, like mine. So if you don't have a daughter tool, which is what you make polka dots with, then you can just use a mechanical pencil and some white paint for the ornaments is what I'll be using. Or you can use another color, but I personally white 
So just put that on a little piece of paper and then dip the mechanical pencil into the paint and then dot it on your little Christmas tree. And this will res resemble the ornaments. Now we're going to do the same thing but with just one dot on the top of the tree with a yellow nail polish and that is how we get our little star. So now just to resemble some snow and sparkle I'm just taking a clear sparkly paint and just painting it over all my fingers even the one with the tree. And you're gonna you're gonna want to make sure the tree is dry too, just so you don't smear the polish. And then there you go, you are finished with your Christmas tree nails. I think they're super cute and festive. Tell me below if you're gonna do them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. From one to ninety-two.